All right, guys, so what I wanted to do is tell you about Poe because a lot of people are using ChatGPT and it's going through a lot of changes. It's recently gone from 3.5 to GPT-4. And GPT-4 is going to be the paid version. There's it, it, it actually just generally produces a better result. One of the knocks on ChatGPT-3 and 3.5 is that the results that it produced sounded a little stiff. Well, I want to tell you about Poe because Poe is an interesting um, chat client and it's created by um, Quora, the team at Quora. So they already know how to, you know, have the team and the infrastructure in place to build this. And what they've done is that they've actually put this together and um, you can ask different chatbots, which really makes your experience that much better. So there's Sage here. Um, which is the uh, the main one. Then there's GPT-4, okay, where you get to ask, uh, without a subscription, you get to ask one question per day for, from, uh, from this one. Claude um, is very interesting as well. And there's Claude Plus, which, uh, you know, is has some great uh, results that it gives you. And then there's Claude Instant. Okay, so this is a, a bit of a... a you know, more basic version of the Claude, um, and you can have unlimited conversations with this. And then there's ChatGPT and there's Dragonfly. So Dragonfly was created by um, uh, Anthropic and um, as well as Sage and Claude. Of course, Google is working on Bard, which is which is their chatbot. So we should be uh, looking forward to seeing what that. Uh, will produce as well. But an interesting side wrinkle to this whole conversation is really about the um, the nature of search. What we're going to see is less search, less people clicking through and going to web pages. And a lot of their search is going to be just basically done through Poe. So for example, you know, um, what's the best way to heal a hamstring injury? Uh, we'll put mild, okay? And instead of actually going to a web page and, you know, trying to search for the information, dealing with ads, all that kind of thing, um, you can, you know, just get your information from here. Now, of course, you want to, you know, take it with a grain of salt, um, as you would with anything online. Um, and that's going to be a definitive, you know, marker of the future going forward is, again, you know, the source, where you're getting your information from is going to become even more important. Um, so that's one of the things to keep in mind. Uh, so I wanted to introduce you to Claude. Okay, Claude is an AI assistant for your tasks. And it's it's pretty interesting um, what they're doing with this. You can go and request access. Um, I like the, uh, the site, uh, but you can see all these different applications for how it can be put to work for legal, um, for the coaching industry. Um, so you can see it's, it's able to uh, parse legal documents and answer questions about them, uh, which is which is really phenomenal. Um, it can be, you know, uh, a coach. It can search for things. Um, it can handle, you know, just office work and even sales. Um, so so it, it's interesting to look at the, the applications for AI and AI chatbots and what's coming next. But I definitely wanted to mention that Poe, you know, it, it, it kind of gives you access to a lot of these all at once. Um, and so it's a great way to to get into AI and to kind of see the difference of, of some of the, uh, the results that you might get from these AI chatbots. And again, um, it does give you free access to GPT-4, even though it is limited access. And that might be important for some people. So anyhow, we're going to have more videos on cryptocurrency. If you do have any questions, um, hit, the, hit me up in the comments and we'll see you in the next video.